Definitely bring your jacket. Temperature should be falling in the 40s. It's been a pretty mild, uh, you know, season so far. Right now we're still at 56 degrees, so a comfortable day here in the valley. Plenty of sunshine up in the high country, though. Yes, yeah, snow is on the ground. We will get more over the weekend. Right now temperatures are sitting in the 30s. But as far as our temperature change, again, not too far of a departure from where we were this time yesterday. As we take a look here at our satellite and radar tracker, again, we're seeing clear skies. Just a few clouds dropping in from the north. No rain at the moment, but we're going to start to see some activity mainly hugging the Sierra. This is the system right here dropping down. It's going to be on the weaker side, but again, we will bring some active weather for the uh, Sierra later this afternoon and then again tomorrow. So going through the timing again, we will see some uh, some of that happening at around three, three o'clock, maybe starting or as early as 130. Really light stuff, though, just a very thin band. So it's mainly going to be hugging the higher peaks there. Clears out by later on this evening, I think around seven o'clock. We should be kind of quiet for the overnight hours, but then heading into tomorrow morning, we'll start to see the potential for some scattered showers here in the valley. So we'll call for about a 20% chance. Nothing widespread or heavy, but it may be a few, a few spots might be a little wet for your Saturday start and then more snow up at the higher peaks. The snow showers though are expected to kind of linger throughout the day. We'll get on and off uh, showers there and then we get into the evening. Although the valley is dry, we see another batch moving in at around 10 15 in the overnight hours, bringing some lighter showers, maybe some mist into parts of the foothills. The good news by Sunday, all of that clears out and we'll even get some afternoon sunshine, clear skies for the overnight hours on Sunday into Monday which will also lead to plenty of sunshine into next week as well. So for today, we'll call for partly cloudy to mostly sunny. Depends where you're going to be. Temperature wise, we'll be in the upper 50s for the Bay Area and the Valley, 60s for the Delta, 50s this afternoon in the foothills. And if you are planning that trek in the Sierra, bring your chains, upper 30s to mostly cloudy. And then for the weekend, again, a 30% chance of snow showers tomorrow in the high country. By Sunday is going to be a better, drier day. So if you're planning to hit the slopes, I, I would suggest heading up on Sunday there with temperatures in the 40s. We'll be in the 50s this weekend for the foothills. A 20% chance of showers kind of scattered throughout the day tomorrow with a mix of sun and clouds on Sunday. And then here in the valley, we could see a few spots early tomorrow morning with some light showers drying by the afternoon, giving way to partly sunny on Sunday and into the low 60s. A bit cloudier though for Sunday in the Bay Area with temperatures holding on into the lower 60s. So your seven day forecast is looking quite nice, especially if you like some rain or some showers. We'll get a mix of everything this week weekend with sunnier skies by Monday. Temperatures for the Delta holding on to the low 60s through the weekend as well as out towards the Bay Area and then here in the valley heading into your Saturday will call for 60 degrees. Partly to mostly cloudy, a bit more sunshine on Sunday, and then we'll start to see things clearing out as we head into next week. But also, we're going to be tracking a possible another system that may roll in by early Thursday. The good news, no temperatures dropping in the 30s. We're going to hold on to overnight lows in the 40s, all forecast period. There you have it. We'll send it back to you, Dominic. All right, Jordan, thank you. Appreciate it.